Hi everyone, welcome to Sorel Bea Yoga. This is my YouTube yoga channel and I'm so happy that you're here today. I finally got a microphone, so fingers crossed it's gonna make things sound better and clearer, especially with the chichadas or the cicadas going on in the background, just like in my previous video outside. You can tell it's summertime in the desert. Honestly though, I love the cicadas or the chichadas. They sound like just musicians having a blast up in the trees, which is pretty sweet. Um, today I recommend having a block or two or some books that you can stack because we are going to work with a variation of pyramid pose. And if you've never done that before, I'm going to walk you through it, so don't worry. And we're going to have some fun today. We're going to warm up the core, do some fun lotus hand mudras. And yeah, let's get onto our backs. Get nice and cozy if you're comfortable with that, if you prefer a comfortable seat. Please do that. Whatever allows for you to just settle into your body and start to ground here. Slowing down the mind, the body, the breath. And I know most of you probably know this, but I think it's a beautiful reminder. And if you don't, hey, now you do. The, the term yoga is union or yoking. And it's a yoking or bringing together and connecting mind, body, soul, and breath. Isn't that beautiful? So simple. Not the easiest thing to do. And so beautiful. So as you get comfortable here, I am going to share just a little like paragraph from this book called World of Wonders by Amy, and I do not know how to pronounce her last name, Nezhukukamatatil. If you know how to pronounce that the correct way, please correct me. Tell me in the comments. But she is one of my favorite poets, and she writes like short stories and essays. So this one, I'm just going to read a little bit that, you know, touched me this week. And you're welcome to tune me in or tune me out. But it is a really good little paragraph. It's very beautiful. So I'm going to start. Here we go. I know I will search for fireflies all the rest of my days. Even though they dwindle a little bit more each year, I can't help it. They blink on and off, a lime glow to the summer night air, as if to say, I am still here. You are still here. I am still here. You are still here. I am, you are, over and over again. Perhaps I can will it to be true. Perhaps I can keep those summer nights with my family inside an empty jam jar, with holes poked in the lid, a twig and a few strands of grass tucked inside. And for those unimaginable nights in the future, when I know I'll miss my mother the most, I will let that jar's sweet glow serve as a night light to cool and cut the air for me. I just think it's so beautiful. Different ways that we hold on to our memories and hold on to sweet moments in our lives. And I, I wish for everyone, I wish for all of us, myself included, to have more of those sweet moments than moments where you're just in like a robotic way of existing. And instead you're piling in, filling in your life with so many sweet moments that you're just making more and more memories instead of thinking, wow, these past years went by so fast because and I don't even know what I did because you were doing the same, maybe not so interesting or soul filling things every day. So let's all try for that, to have a little bit more of those soul filling memories in our life, especially with the people that we love. So start to bring your legs together, rocking side to side, massaging out the spine. Good. And we're going to go right into waking up our core. You guys ready? So bring the hands to the backs of the thighs and start to rock forward and back, forward and back as many times as you would like. And then come up into a seat, plant the feet down, and go ahead and grab your block. If you don't have a block, grab a water bottle or 
grab if you have a tiny little dog or a little baby you can hold them uh i'm kidding kind of kind of kind of not um or if you don't have anything that you can hold just have your hands maybe together just like pretend you're holding this energetic old block here okay so you got it there i've already done these a bunch today so i'm gonna mostly cheer you on but from here you can stay just like this or you can start to lift the block overhead stay here start to hover the feet and you can just hold just like this, or if you'd like, come to a low boat, send the block forward. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. This time, take that block over to the right. Hold it there for three, two, one. Take the block over to the left. Hold it there for three, two one inhale back through center lift the block back up hold for three two one gently bring the block down plant the feet Ooh la la it's so easy to make our bellies nice and spicy like that you're welcome to do another round of that and you can just pause the video and then join back in or if you want to you're like i'm good that was good enough cross your ankles plant your palms step back to a tabletop From here, start to move through some of your cat cows on your own, adding in whatever you need to, maybe, maybe some belly rolls, spinal rolls, shoulder rolls, all the rolls. I didn't say Hawaiian rolls, though. Those are the best ones. You have to agree, right? Right. So just taking some breaths here. Let's keep going for four breaths on your own. Inhales are lifting the heart. Exhales are rounding. Two more breaths. Last one. Full inhale and full exhale. Good. Plant your palms. Send that right foot back. Keep your toes against the earth and curl your left toes too. From here, start to rock forward and back. I'm gonna come up onto my fingertips just because my wrist is hurt. I have surgery on it tomorrow. So hopefully in a few weeks, I will be better than good to go and be able to start doing some more demos of how to do things, which I'm really excited about because it's been since February since I've really been able to share my full practice with everybody and get people into cool stuff by showing them. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Nervous, but excited. And take that right foot all the way over to the left. Keep it against the earth. And then if you want, take your left hands over to the left too. So you're getting this nice side body stretch. And then come back through center, sweep that right leg up, point your toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Hold it for three, two, one tabletop. Ooh, it's hot out here, man. <laughs> Who needs hot yoga when you have the desert sunshine? And then send that left leg back, rocking forward and back. And just waking up the back of the calf of that left leg, You're really stretching through the toes and the heel. And then take that left foot all the way over to the right. Stay here or walk the hands to the right, too. And then come back through center, send that left leg up, point your toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Hold it for three, two, one. Table top and downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog, do what you gotta do. It's more in the middle of the day for me, and I've already done a lot of yoga and gone to the gym and a long walk. So I feel pretty warm, so I'm just going to chill here in my down dog. But do what you got to do here to warm up the legs. Finding that breath, spreading the palms, rolling biceps out.
Inhale from here, we're gonna gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. We're gonna meet in a forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands come by your sides. Tadasana. Okay, from here, I'm gonna turn to face you. Just take that right hand and pretend you have a really, really big pocket on the right side of you. And you're sliding your hand into that pocket as you reach the left arm up overhead and take your gaze up to that palm. And then switch left hand's gonna come into that pocket. You're sliding it deep in there. You've got a lot of chains. You're trying to get every little penny out. Right hand stretches over. And then we're gonna bend into the knees and this time we're gonna turn into like a little dance like, ready? So from here, you're gonna go to the right. And then to the left. Kind of straightening and bending the knees, just finding some rhythm and keep going. Let's go for four, three, two. You guys are like, this is not a dance class, this is yoga. <laughs> One, dancing in yoga, so similar. And then reach the hands up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward. We're going to lower our knees to our tabletop. And then curl your toes, sit back on your heels. There's a lot of little buggers out today. I don't want to kill you guys, but I want you guys off my mat, so I'm just sweeping them off. Okay, we're going to do this probably three times as a little warm-up flow before we get into one of our, our, probably our main flow for today. And yeah, today will be, I'm trying to keep it under 40 minutes, hopefully around 30, but knowing me, it'll be a little longer. So from here, Inhale, come up to kneeling, reach your hands up. Exhale, cacti. Inhale, reach hands. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Three breaths. Keep a lot of energy throughout the arms. Elbows are lifted, pressing through the palms. Inhale to kneeling, reach the hands up. Exhale, cacti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Three breaths. Maybe rocking the forehead side to side, massaging the third eye. Breathing here, notice your heart rate. Notice how you're feeling. You have fun in your yoga practice. I think fun is so important. Playfulness. Inhale, come up to kneeling, reach the hands up. Exhale, cacti. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose, three breaths. One more full inhale and exhale, pressing the hips closer towards the heels, getting a nice stretch in the back. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Close the eyes, three breaths here. With your next inhale, find your chair pose. So whatever that looks like for you, maybe big toes together, apart, whatever works. I like to have my big toes together and about an inch apart in my heels, or my for my heels. Sink into that chair. And then bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the spine. And I'm hoping you can see here. 
So from right now, I'm arching, right? I want you to take your both palms and start to tuck. So I'm pressing my tailbone down, tucking my belly back, and then reaching my hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, we're gonna take these lotus hands and reach them up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back with the right leg. And gently lower right knee down, untuck toes. Inhale, reach up, find your low lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, cacti arms, maybe bending a little bit more to that front knee, squeezing shoulder blades, spread fingers. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, step it forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find your chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, still in your chair. Inhale, lotus hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back with that left leg. Gently lower left knee down. Rise up to your low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Inhale, reach higher. Exhale, cacti arm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cartwheel hands down. Step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands come by your side. Close the eyes, three breaths. Breathing here, fill the body, fill the mind, fill the breath. The next inhale, open your eyes. And I'm going to turn to face you so you can see what I'm doing again. From here, bring hands to hips. And take a little step back with the right foot. I recommend getting your blocks. I'm going to go ahead and grab my blocks for now. So I recommend getting those blocks. A little step back with the right foot. Hands are at hips. Blocks are just kind of in front framing off that left foot. From here, sending your heart forward and crown a head forward. Start to hinge from the hips forward. Then bring hands to your block. You can figure out what level or height you want them at. Start to draw left hip back. And just stay here. This feels good. You want a little more. Start to bend into that right knee, but keep both feet planted down. And it's kind of funky, but it feels really good. Now I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me from the side, okay? So from here, you're bending into that right knee. Hands interlace behind the back of that right calf, releasing neck and head. Stay here, or you start to straighten both legs for a variation of pyramid. Keep pulling left hip back, right hip forward. Relax the head and neck. Staying for three, two, one. And gently release, plant the palms, step forward, forward fold, bend the knees. Belly comes to thighs. Release the hands or catch opposite elbows and just sway here, taking a rag doll. Inhale here, slowly rise up, super, super slow. When you get to the top, bring hands by your sides, close the eyes, three breaths, Padashtana. Relax the face. Quiet the mind. Come back to the breath. Not gonna lie, I am so sweaty right now. <laughs> Feels pretty great though. I love it. I love the desert. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, hands to hip. Step a little bit back with that right foot. Hinge the heart forward, hips forward, head forward. 
and then bringing hands to the block. Start to draw right hip back, left hip forward. Stay here or bend into that left knee. Both feet are planted. Interlace fingers behind the left calf. And then maybe start to straighten both legs all the while aiming to keep the hips as square as possible. Not the easiest thing in the world. On the real though, if you've never been to the desert, would you come if I hosted like a little retreat here, maybe at like a little Joshua Tree hotel place? Let me know. Put in the comments because I've been thinking about having a little retreat and I was like, I'd love to do it somewhere else, but maybe I should just start here where I'm familiar with and show people what I love so much about the desert blended in with yoga. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, gently release, step it forward, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, super slow. Don't want to get dizzy. To get to the top, close the eyes, three breaths. Relax the shoulders. Feel the collarbones spreading so you're creating space in the front of your throat and your heart. One more breath. Inhale, open your eyes, sweep the hands overhead, exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog. You are more than welcome to do a flow here if you'd like. Coming forward through that high plank. I'm going to come onto knees, chest, chin, and do a little baby push-up, but you can do whatever you'd like here. Maybe taking baby cobra or upward facing dog. Lowering forehead. Pressing back to your child's pose. I'm going to be here for five breaths. Two more breaths. Inhale, come up tabletop. Exhale, I want you to curl your toes, sit back on your heels so you're in a little toe stance. And I was going to have us do one more flow, but I think today we're going to keep it a little shorter. And we're going to go into some fun half camel stuff right now, just playing around and do some stretching and then call it a day for today. Next time we'll do a longer one. We'll see. From here, I want you to bring your right hand to your heel. Left hand's going to sweep up overhead. Stay just like this or start to lift the hips. And I have a decent amount of space in between my, my legs. So this is what it looks like from the front. This is what it looks like from the side for half camel gazes up, lifting the heart. Exhale, lower the hips back, lower hand back. Left hand catches left heel. Inhale, sweep up, half camel. Exhale, lower. Nice and flowy. Let's do a few more times each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, pressing the hips forward. Open that heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, maybe taking gaze back. Palm reaches overhead. Inhale, lift. And lower one more each way. Inhale, lift. If you want to hold it, hold it, or move into something else if that feels good. Inhale. Exhale. And just come back to that toe stand. Close the eyes. A few more breaths. Open the eyes. Start to come onto your seat here. Good. Shake out the legs. And then from here, I want you to hug that right leg in nice and tight into your chest. Like that. Just hug it there. 
stay like this or take this right foot to the outside of the left leg. And then send right hand back behind you. Stay hugging this leg in with the left arm or send the left arm up with your inhale. Exhale, hook the left arm to the outside of that right leg, finding a nice twist here. Notice if you're dipping a lot in the back, try to find some lift so you're twisting more from the navel. Broad in the collarbone. Oh, my little hummingbird's coming to visit. His name is Henry. He's a ruby-throated hummingbird. I absolutely adore him. He's a big guy, though. And we're going to come back through center. Keep the legs the same. Just twist the opposite direction. And then release that leg opposite side. Starting first, just hugging left leg in. Stay just like this. Or take that left foot to the outside of the right leg. Left arm shoots back behind you, staying on fingertips. Right arm can stay hugging this leg in. Or take that right arm up. Exhale, hook it to the outside of that left leg, finding a nice twist. Remember, same thing on the side. If you're dipping a lot to try to get into this twist, First, try to hug it in and find that lift. Then you can try to twist from the navel. So you're really pressing into that back hand, finding lots of lift in the front body. Flex your toes. Feel that massage to your insides. <laughs> and then twist the opposite direction. Keep the legs the same. And then come back through center, shake out both legs. From here, inhale, reach your hands up. If you have a strap, we're going to come into a forward fold. So stay just like this and folding maybe with the strap or your towel or your sock around the soles of your feet or folding and maybe grabbing the ankles or the feet. Try to find lift, though, rather than rounding in the spine, or if you are rounding, at least intentionally round. I'm rounding. It's hard not to round. But I'm going to find some lift halfway. Exhale. Breathing here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bring them by your sides. Start to scoot your glutes towards your heels. Plant the feet down, fingers back behind you, and just start to drop the knees side to side. Giving a little massage to that lower back and the hips. You can go fast or slow, as long as this feels good. And then come back through center. And I want you to cross that right ankle over the left thigh. And same thing here. Notice if you're rounding in the lower back like this, kind of hunching over, try to lift. You might need to walk the glutes further back. And fingertips, are you, mine are pointing away from me. You can, whatever feels good for you here. They can point towards you and stay like this. Or you can walk your glute or your feet closer together. So whatever feels good in this stretch. Flex the toes. Breathing here. All of our saguaro fruit is turning nice and ripe and red right now. And because of the crazy bloom this year, every saguaro arm has, I swear, 20 to 30 pieces of fruit on it. And I am so excited to pretty soon harvest some. The right way, of course, you know, the the way like on your land you don't go taking it off random land and making some maybe some saguaro or hashan is what it's called in the native tongue um syrup i've done it before and it was really delicious and like this beautiful bright magenta color or you can paint with it too or use it for dyes and it's so good it's another reason to come to the desert okay from here start to switch sides so plant that right foot down Cross left ankle over left thigh. And then your choice here. You can widen your stance from heel to hip, or you can shorten it, lifting the heart. 
lift the chin, lift the gaze. But all the birdies, especially like the cactus wren and the doves, are just eating this fruit like crazy. And it's so cute. They're just in absolute heaven. They're at a candy shop with it. And then gently release. And any way you want, come on to your back. Take your time. Hug your legs into your chest, just like we started, rocking side to side. And then bring your feet as wide as your mat. Knees come together. Arms come out like a cacti or a big T. Lift the hips over to the right and just drop the knees to the left. Staying like this or take that left foot on top of the right thigh for a spinal twist. And up to you if you want to keep your gaze up or take it to the right. So it's starting to just slow down, maybe even closing the eyes, just feeling this nice twist, rinsing the body, quite literally if you're sweaty like me. <laughs> oh, but there's this beautiful breeze coming through the yard right now, and it just it feels so good. So grounding. Take a few more breaths here. Melting the shoulders down, relaxing the face, the fingers, the hips, the belly. And we're going to switch sides. So just resetting the shape. Feet as wide as your mat, knees together. This time when you inhale, you're going to lift the hips and send them to the left while dropping the knees to the right, maybe hooking that right foot on top of the left thigh. And once again, your choice gaze can be up or over to the left. Depends on what you kind of stretch you want for your neck. But feel yourself softening here. Feel yourself melding and connecting with Earth energy. I know it sounds so wild and crazy, but I mean, we're a part of it. It's a part of us. And when we slow down like this and reconnect with our breath, we realize just how ridiculously connected we are to everyone and everything. In existence it's beautiful we lift others up they lift us up we lift us up we lift others up <laughs> we can't lose a few more breaths here And then come back through center and lifting the feet up, just bending the knees, holding the feet up. So this is just our chill inversion. If you want to do something else, do whatever you'd like. Happy baby, shoulder stand, savasque. If you want to do head stand, forearm stand, you do you. You do you, boo. Anything with the feet above the heart. I'm going to take a happy baby now if you want to join me. Catching the outsides of my feet, arms coming through the legs. But I'm rolling my tailbone down. So try to roll the tailbone down. And if you're super tall or just have tighter hamstrings, and by doing this, you have to lift the tailbone up, grab the outsides of the legs or the ankles and see if that helps ground your spine and shoulders. Take two more breaths. Wherever you're at, if you're in shoulder stand, you want to take plow or ear pressure pose. Or if you went into headstand or anything else, if you want to take a child's pose, go ahead. And then we're going to bring the feet down. Take any last 
stretches or movements or anything else that you need here. If you want to grab a blanket or maybe turn the lights down or cover your eyes or anything like that, put some lavender on, whatever you've got to do to get comfortable in your final resting shape, please do that. I'm going to come to a Supta Baddha Konasana, so feet together, knees out wide, bringing one hand to my heart, one hand to my belly. And taking a deep breath in, fill the lungs up. Hold the breath at the tippy, tippy top. Sip in a little bit more. Feel your belly expanding. Sip in a little bit more. Hold it. Open your mouth. Sigh it all out. When you get to the bottom, see if you can press any more air out. And start to breathe naturally. Relaxing all the muscles in your face. Focusing just on your breath. Being with it, loving it just the way it is. Your breath is your tether. Your tether to being alive. May as well nurture it. Give it some attention, some expansion, some love. You can stay here as long as you'd like. I'd recommend minimum 10 minutes. If you want to do longer, do longer. But listen to your body. Shavasana is so important. And I thank you all for being here with me today. I am just so happy to share my practice with you and I hope to get to know you all more and connect with you all more. Either way, thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.